We use a variety of strategies to engage children in our classrooms every day. Uh, we use a lot of singing, a lot of movement, um, any kind of multi-sensory hands-on materials are always really engaging and exciting for children. Kristen is incredibly enthusiastic. She's energetic. She is so passionate about what she does. Her joy for children, for learning, for working with the community, with her colleagues, with parents, in order to provide a meaningful program, that joy just spills across our campus. And it is so evident that she comes to work every day excited about the work that she does with and for children. When um, a child who is pre-verbal or non-verbal starts speaking, it is like, um, it's like a magic dragon egg, really. You can see this child who has so much potential inside and then that egg starts to crack and this light comes out and um, it's the most amazing feeling to know that you were some small part of that process of helping them communicate with their family and communicate with their friends. <laughs> tickles. It tickles me. A teacher leader to me has three main qualities. One, they are reflective as educators. Two, they are bold and they make bold decisions. And three, they really have a vision that they can get other people behind. So teacher leaders need to do things that are a little risky. They need to think outside of the box a little bit and do things that, that make them um, a little scared because they know it's what is right for children. I'm so incredibly excited for Kristen and this opportunity. I think she's so deserving. Thank you so much, Tucson Values teachers. Thank you, Raytheon, for this award. It really means a lot to us. I love you, Miss Kristen.